So we're just pulling out of Energy Power Sports and on our way to St. Catharines, just on the south shore of Lake Ontario. This spring has been a bit of a late spring. You know, weather's been a bit colder and um, honestly, there's not much information um, floating around out there on, on the fishery. On top of it, some people are tight-lipped with the tournament coming up. But we're gonna get out there, get some pre-fishing in. This year, the Energy Power Sports team is made up of myself, Mark Briscoe, which uh, we've become great fishing partners as we met several years back and um, he, he really offers a lot to the team. Um, Vince, Vince is gonna be uh, doing a bit of our film work this year and, and Matt, Matt there was uh, asked to fish with us as this year we're doing a bit of a program having people join the Energy Power Sports fishing team which is exciting so we're gonna meet Matt. So we're gonna head on down there, we'll get launched up and then get the season going. So Friday was the first day, um, is a is pretty much a pre-fish day, but there is the big fish, big fish Friday, so that's the only actual competition for the day. So a lot of teams get here, so they get out here, they kind of learn the waters, they kind of see where the fish are at for the weekend, try and get a game plan, get a, get a schedule, kind of see what's going on. For us, pre-fishing is kind of figure out where we're not gonna go. So we started out shallow, took a few lake trout, um, you know, obviously we're not looking for lake trout, but uh, this time of year they are plentiful. So you, you're often picking through the lake trout to get to the salmon. It was definitely a slow start. We got lots of lake trout. Okay, but definitely not the king king salmon we were looking for. We hooked into one uh, in about mid afternoon. We heard throughout the spring that um, the U.S. side, which is Wilson, Alcott, and whatnot had been getting fish already, which is which is pretty advanced. Um, you know, the Niagara River there, it's either east or west, it seemed to be on the east side of stuff. So fish down there, like I said, just a few salmon and a lot of lake trout. More than we like, but no, we picked through them and, uh, and we figured our game plan for Saturday was gonna be obviously where we uh, didn't fish as, as, as we um, subtracted some water. Got back to dock, got cleaned up, changed some leaders, figured out our game plan for Saturday, went and got some rest. Unfortunately, it looks like day one of uh, spring King of the Lake is a blow day. It's uh, weather's a little dicey in the springs, and unfortunately, we start come to it again. But we're gonna hold out, get some stuff done on the dock, and hope tomorrow, Sunday, weather's a little better, and it'll turn out just to be a one-day fish off. So Sunday, looks like this is gonna be our fishing day. Saturday got blown off. We had about 20, 20 to 30 knot winds out of the east there. And uh, we all know at the west end of the lake what that does. So set at the hotel, strategized. And to be honest, uh, after a blow like that, it's, uh, it's hard to equate where things are leading. So we're gonna get our stick baits on. And honestly, we're gonna start here uh, just outside of um, Port Weller. Work the bay, 20 feet of water, work our way out. It's hard to gauge where things have moved, so start from square one and then uh, we'll get creative from there. And honestly, we won't be able to run very far today. There's probably gonna be a pretty big residual roll, you know, three, four footers. Uh, but the caps are off, we're gonna be fishing, and uh, yeah, a great way to kick off the season, so we're excited to go. Just a bit of a tough fish there on Friday. Found lots of Lakers, not much Kings, so we'll see after big blow if anyone's game right now and go out and have some fun. So 
So we're just queuing up here in the shotgun start. The way a lot of these events start is uh, everyone comes out, lines up, straight line, and then they blow the horn. Today's gonna be 7 a.m., enough light, and everyone just runs their fishing grounds. It, uh, there's an element of excitement to it, an element of chaos, and uh, it's pretty exciting to watch 30, 40, 50 boats go blasting off as quick as they can to their fishing grounds. These winds rolled in a lot of warm water, so what, what happens is the Niagara River rolls out and those east winds just roll down that Lake Erie water that comes out of the river, which was, which was pretty cloudy and, uh, and a bit on the warmer side. So we set up at about 25 feet, which was literally maybe 300 yards from the uh, entrance of the marina. Got our lines down, started out with some stick baits, body bait, and uh, spoons on our riggers and dipsies. We proceeded to troll out. Uh, you know, when it's a bit rougher, we wanted to go into the waves. It, it keeps it a little more comfortable instead of being on the side of it, which we call the trough. So pointed into it and we just continued out to deeper water. The screen didn't look too well. And to be honest, we didn't see many people hooking up. So we continued to head out. It was about an hour troll out to the deeper water. Um, we took a, a bite out of about 70 of the salmon. Unfortunately, we dropped it. Um, we were excited to see that it wasn't lake trout on our lines. We, we finally got into some salmon, but unfortunately we, we dropped the first one. So we kept on proceeding out, got out to 100, 140, 50 foot rigger, boom, take our first salmon. So we were in, we were into the game there, uh, you know, about 10 pounder, got us started. And, you know, it got us excited about the day. We continued out to the mud line. The mud line, debris line, silt line. It, it, it's the clouded, dirty water, and then you get the uh, the crystal clear water. Got out to there. It was about 180. Turned and went with the with, with the line, and we just started firing coho after coho. Um, a lot of lead cores, high leads, and the riggers. We flipped over to uh, to a paddle and meat program. Uh, tried that a couple couple times. Uh, had that down on a deep rigger. And sure enough, that fired a couple times. We got some fish on that. We had a couple spoon patterns that were going pretty good. So we kind of loaded up on those. And the day picked up uh, about late morning, early afternoon. We started getting on some fish. It's been a bit of a sporty go. A little east winds up these big old rollers. Um, started out in shallow. Didn't have much luck there, took one bite. Um, it's been a bit of a grind. We've been really on search mode all day. Not going too, too far because of the big rollers that are left over, but uh, just grinding out the bite slowly here. Started working a few deeper lines and then lo and behold, started finding some lake trout. Um, not a big deal, we got our five, so we want to work some deeper water, see if we could pick up some, some of the dormant kings, we call them, that sit in the deeper gin clear water down deep, 150 down. Lo and behold, fires, deep rigger, Matt gets on there. And, and it's acting like a lake trout. So we're all, yeah, it's just another lake. All of a sudden, change it up, starts peeling some line. We got a little more interested and, and sure enough, Matt got it in and it was our biggest fish of the day, about 17, 18. So yeah, he, he did real well on it and um, you know, grinned from ear to ear. And uh, you know, normally we just put the fish in the coolers. We don't want to lose weight, but uh, we, uh, we definitely wanted to share that moment with Matt. So took some photos and uh, it was great. So, you know, we're, we're there, we're upgrading now and uh, we're excited. We were one of the only boats out in this deeper water as, as most of the guys stayed in and, and, and we didn't have much to go off of, of, of watching other boats to see how they were doing. So we continued on our path, followed that mud line, took a few more bites, bunch more Lakers, so we said, you know, 
let's, let's, let's go check that shallow water and, and go looking for upgrades. Took one more fish just at the end there and then headed it in. So as we, as we pull back into the marina, we start to see all the other anglers heading up with their coolers and we realize there's been a lot of fish caught, which is exciting. You know, spring is iffy, especially after those weathers. Um, concerns, it looked like a lot of guys did well. And, um, and we, we realized then that if those fleets stuck in that shallower water, that we probably, you know, um, possibly made the wrong call. And as we got up to the way station lineup, we knew there, there were some good fish caught. And it was exciting, you know. Uh, big smiles is, is, is definitely the best way to start off. Uh, the spring uh, tournament circuit. So um, yeah, it, it, it was a good, good mood around the whole way in. First one weighing up, it was in the, it was in the 70 pounds. Third box to go up was Team Zash, 90.14. We hadn't seen a box like that in a long time. These guys really nailed it. And they were, they were early in the line, so we didn't know what to expect. 73.93. 72, 27, 61, 77. Nice box. What they do is they put you on the hot seat. So Frank and his team sat there and got to watch everyone come up and weigh in. And, uh, and we've been there before um, and it is, uh, it's fun. It's exciting, but uh, I think Frank uh, mentioned it best. You know, it's anxiety filled. Hey Dorian. Your dad's got a chance to win without you. Two coolers to go. 49.62, Randall. We're looking for 90 pounds. <laughs> Look at that. 90 pounds. We're not. 52.95, Spring King of the Lake, Team Zash! Atta boy, Mr. Bradley, good job. Team Zash, Spring King of the Lake winner. For myself, I've came close a few times now uh, in the last eight years, a couple top, you know, top fives. And getting this win today was huge. Uh, it meant a lot to me all the hard work we've put in it was it, it meant a lot for sure it meant a lot this win today yeah. so i think you know we finished in the bottom tier of this event honestly it, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't a big deal you know we, we saw our buddies up on stage there with um, his first win it was uh it was it was really exciting and you know as, as much as we all want to win and and uh, and do our best out there we, we all root for our buddies so very cool to see but for this one, it is the overall, which is uh, your combined scores of, of, of four events. A tough finish only motivates you to uh, have a stronger finish in the next one, just like the rest of the field. And, uh, and it's going to be an exciting competitive season. And uh, honestly, just got our feet wet here and uh, we can't wait for the rest of the summer. <laughs>